Howdy folks, Keith Bowen here and this is Hard Rock University. Today's lesson is how to tell the difference between fool's gold and real gold. Now there's about four major kinds of fool's gold. Mica, pyrite, chalcopyrite, and other sulfides. You can also be misled if you've got uh, a crusher or something where you may have some some brass bearing material or something like that that gets mixed up in with your crushed rock. But those are the four basic kinds here and they have different characteristics and I'm going to teach you how to differentiate them in the field and while you're working. This is mica. It's soft, it's kind of flaky, and when you gouge it, it just comes off in these little teeny flakes. Now, if you have the right type of mica, it can shine pretty bright yellow when the sunlight hits it from the right angle. This particular material doesn't do that well, but I only had so much time to look for a sample. See how the individual mica flakes will flash silver and then go dark again as I change the angle of the camera to the angle of the lighting. These are samples of iron pyrite. As you can see, it's kind of a gray color. It's got some yellow to it, but it's not a really bright buttery yellow. Now if you take pyrite and crush it, this is what you hear. Let's get a little closer. How's that? Pretty good. As you can see, it breaks. If we take a little piece of pyrite and crush it, you also get that real scritchy sound and it creates a bunch of small particles very easily. It just powders. This is chalcopyrite. It's very similar to pyrite in its physical properties. It's hard, it's brittle, but it's a much more buttery yellow. And as such, it's a lot easier to mistake visually for gold. Both pyrites also make a pretty nice scritching sound when you take a knife. is finely divided gold. We've recovered from the rock out of gold hollow mainly. This is a chunk of gold that we obtained from the Angelita. We didn't see it in the wall. We just one time when we opened up the impact mill there was a big, well, seven grams of gold chunks laying there. We never duplicated it. <laughs> Drat. But we were excited for a bit. Now with this, come on. if you take a knife and scrape it, it sounds entirely different. Also, if you take like a pair of wire cutters, squeeze it. It does not break, but instead gets a gouge in it. Many people have worked in gold mines for years without ever seeing any gold in the rock. By far the most common place you're going to see the gold is actually in a gold pan. And the way you tell that it's gold, aside from the color, is the way it behaves. It's much more resistant to movement 
than the other materials because of its extreme density. So as I continue to tap this pan, we can see right there is a line of gold starting to form separate from the rest of the material. Now if I gently swirl this, you can see how that gold has a tendency to just sit there. And it's moving, but not a whole lot, even though it's extremely fine. You can see this other material here is moving up. It's being washed away while the gold just sits there. Because of that high density behavior, you can be pretty comfortable that that's gold, especially as these are pyrites, and you know these are at a density of about uh, five or six. The way you can tell that it's gold is because it behaves in an extremely high density manner. Very small particles will tend to stick to the bottom of the pan. You can see this line of gold here is separate from this other material here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's pretty high density too, because that's pyrites right there. So I'm not sure what we have here, but it's pretty high density stuff. And that's how you can tell the difference. It simply doesn't move in the same manner as the rest of the material. Likewise on a table the gold will be moving in a different manner than other particles of the same size. So that's basically it. Mica, soft, flaky, and only shines when the light's on it in a particular direction. Pyrite, not nearly so yellow, and it also tends to shine when the light's coming at it from a particular direction, but that's not a guarantee. Calcopyrite, now that can easily be mistaken for gold. Other sulfides, they're really not yellow, they are shiny. So, you know, it, it might be mistaken for white gold or electrum, something like that. But in general, these are pretty easy to differentiate. These are also all quite brittle. So if you have a large chunk of it, you can crush it or scrape it and determine it that way. Real gold will generally be much smaller and it's malleable, ductile. You can try and crush it with a pair of pliers, hit it with a hammer. It's just going to bend or cut. It doesn't make that scritching sound. And most importantly, this will usually only be found in a pan and its extreme density makes it behave sufficiently different from everything else that it's pretty easy to spot. Thank you. Happy prospecting. Keep it safe out there.